All right, this this is about denial of abrupt global warming and the ecological crisis by Western modern science uh, versus the new twin turbo straight six or inline six um, an engine <clears throat> that's going to be developed. It's in, it's already been it's been been designed and it's being offered by uh, the uh, engine factory in, in Mexico. That's for the um, GM General Motors um, production line and. Um, my uh, my dad's last car was this same inline six engine that was the the what they called the Atlas model um, that he had for a truck uh, SUV frame um, and this inline six engine has been was all the rage in the um, drag racing circuit for the past few years. They call it the Amera Barra because um, the uh, the displacement is uh, 35 inches versus the V8 is, I think it's like 28 inches. And so when you have the long vertical bearings the rods then you get a more efficient uh, power conversion from the heats the heat cycle based on how the heat is uh, transferred um, and I haven't studied this in detail yet but I I was reading yesterday how you know they've debated the various inline six engines that have been designed for cars and of course I'm a I'm actually a bicycle person and I I tooled around on a old British uh, three-speed bicycle and if it was up to me I would have those mass produced with the internal hub hub gear because they with, when you don't have an external derailleur on a bicycle and you have the internal hub gear, then they withstand an, an amazing amount of, um, of use in harsh weather conditions. And anyway, I, um, I would have everyone be given a free uh, British three-speed bicycle. And because... Um, it's a great way to stay in shape and get around, you know, transportation and, and then, you know, basically just like ban, ban cars after that or something, I don't know, or just, just have, ele I don't know, electric, but the, um, th yeah, this engine's, the inline six is coming out in the hybrid electric, of course, um, so the, um, the V8 engine enthusiasts are complaining that um, big oil is now in in cahoots with big government regulations again against glo global warming. But um, you know, just because the inline six is a more efficient engine, so y you can save on emissions. Um, and have stricter emission standards, but also have a 500 horsepower twin turbo, which is, it's huge. I mean, the, the inline six that my dad bought, it has a 275 horsepower, something like that right around there. But, um... The main thing that they like the inline six is because it has more torque 
at a lower lower RPM, so you get a because of that long um, rod displacement, you're getting the greater power as torque. Um, and this is something I didn't really understand before, and you know it's pretty fascinating to study, but it completely ignores the science of the um, gravitational entropy versus entropy of matter. So when they analyze energy efficiency, as uh, Sir Roger Penrose points out, the by the effort to reduce the entropy of matter by science actually increases the gravitational entropy and life as biology is based on reducing the gravitational entropy as negative entropy that's from quantum non-locality or uh, reverse time and negative frequency or as Roger Penrose calls it negative resonance and so that that's why life is the greatest mystery and the most efficient uh highest technology on the planet and but modern science has created um what the conservation biologists call uh conservation or biological annihilation so if you go into google scholar and you search quote biological annihilation unquote then you learn that not only are we in the sixth math mass extinction crisis but it's happening two orders of magnitude faster than any previous mass extinction of species crisis on earth so it's happening in decades instead of thousands of years as the like the past Mastic mass ex extinction of species was the Permian late uh, Permian extinction uh, mass extinction that was 56 million years ago and so when people want to push um, electric cars they're ignoring the aerosol masking effect um, but they're not, I mean, most of the sulfur pollution is produced by the coal, um, power plants. So I think the coal power plants are maybe, they're the, maybe the single largest source of carbon emissions on the planet. And they're about, um, I'm just guessing, but something like maybe 25% of CO2 emissions or something. But I think they're over half of the sulfur emissions on the planet. Um, they already cleaned up the, the cruise ship emissions, the sulfur emissions. And, the, and so the, the cruise ships used to be the most polluting ships on or you know engines or whatever on the planet so people would go on these luxury cruise ships and they're still they're still promoted as some you know highly educational like the uh, alumni association at university of minnesota promotes these cruise ships and um public television promotes cruise ships and they're it's like the single worst thing you can do because if you take one cruise ship it's the equivalent of driving a car for half of your life do based on the all the pollution so they've tried to clean up the cruise ships and i don't know how much cleaner they are but again the problem is is that by reducing the sulfur emissions then you're heating up earth and the, the um, aerosol masking effect from the sulfur emissions has now been been uh, determined to be twice as bad 
as previously thought. So it's twice as strong, which means uh, if they reduce the coal production, then it's just going to heat up Earth even more. And, I mean, the U.S. has, they've already reduced their coal production quite a bit, but um, China is exporting coal plants, and India just, I think they increase their coal because they have to fund the, or power the um, air conditioning because it's too hot in India. And, and so already you're having this um, catch-22 from the abrupt global warming uh, drought that's it's wiped out um, one-fourth of India's wheat production this year, that, or 25% got wiped out by the drought. And we have about uh, 50 million people in Africa that are facing uh, starvation from the, or they're in critical hunger conditions in West Africa and the Horn of Africa in East Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, and then, of course, we have the heat wave and that we've been routinely getting now in the mega drought in the, in the western half of the U.S., but that stretches all the way into the Midwest, the farm region. So it's becoming increasingly difficult to farm in the U.S. also. The uh, northern wheat crop production was lost um, last year. I think maybe a third of it was lost or something. Or of the... Uh, so, I mean, it's people don't realize just how, how much acceleration there will be of the ecological crisis due to just modern industrial civilization. So even today, like I was supposed to get the inline six engine, um, the car worked, worked on and I was, I'm having the suspension redone, but, um, it's going to be just too hot. I'm going to call and unless the mechanic has, um, air conditioning in his, in his shop, you know, I'm going to call them to find out. And if they don't, then I'm going to cancel it because it's, it's too dangerous. It's literally just too hot to work because the job I need today is the job I, what I had set up was for the rear coil springs, which is a physical, you know, that takes a lot of strength or whatever. You gotta, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. I'm, I'm terrible. I've barely used any tools. <laughs> and just read books and I played music. Um, so that's been kind of my kind of the fun thing for me is to start using tools and to study engines and all that and and the engineering but that whole scene where you have you have like um, General Motors making fun of um, of rainforest destruction as it that, that was in its promotional of the original inline six engine from uh, 2006 it would it, it makes these it's like Jay Jay Leno just did a a review uh, last year of the Corvair inline six uh, or flat six I think they call it engine and he um you know he's he's making fun of uh Ralph Nader for scaring everybody away from the Corvair as not being safe. Um, but it's not just the engine uh, design, uh, the placement of the engine. It's just cars, the internal combustion engine, 
was the wrong it it increases gravitational entropy on earth by um you know using up so much energy and that so i mean obviously we we burned the um hundreds of millions of years of stored up solar solar energy on earth that and they, they call it the cars people they call it dino oil or dino oil or whatever from as if it's from dinosaurs but it's not it's from oil is from um algae mainly it's from ocean algae that got stored up in the bottom of the ocean over over millions hundreds of millions of years and the algae is the one of the oldest life on earth if not the oldest um and so I, I routinely eat algae. I eat the spirulina because it's really good for your eyes and and also protects you from UV radiation. And you get direct energy right to your mitochondria. So the, the key is to just align yourself with the oldest form of energy that's the most efficient at reducing gravitational entropy in contrast to modern science um, increasing gravitational entropy and therefore ex accelerating the destruction of all life on earth and so that's that's how I'm going to leave that happy message right there that uh, meditation can bypass that that process by going the opposite way and increasing uh, negative entropy by decreasing the gravitational entropy of space-time itself. And that's why uh, Qigong Master Yan Shin calls Qigong the highest technology of all technologies. And thanks very much.